Hello Stamper, welcome to Frenchie's video. I'm France Martin, independent demonstrator with Stamping Up at FrenchieStamps.com. Today I'm sharing a pinwheel tower. You can see it stands straight and the beauty of it, it lay flat and it will fit in our regular envelopes. Et voila, fit perfectly. So Sandy sent me a request and with picture, well, look at it and a lot of them were too big for a regular envelope so i switched the measurement here from like i said i look at many of them so to who give a credit i am not even sure so this is um like i said i revamped the measurement so it fit in our envelope i use the lovely paper um what it's called again it's called um beauty of earth so i use this print and also i use the neutral uh, designer paper for this one the next one is the same paper but i'm using a different print so i'm using the one with the leaves and this one the bag also now with the leaf I wanted flowers, so I'm using the metal die for the flowers. I love this die. I absolutely love it. So what you're going to need, and I will have all measurement on my blog, so don't worry about marking anything down. Uh, I will have all measurement on my blog. I think this is going to be better here. So we're going to start with the base of this one is going to be Knight of Navy. This one was gray granite. So we're starting with a five and a half, uh, I'm sorry, five and a half this way, and then this it's four and seven eight. We're going to score at I pre-scored speed up here at half inch. Our first score it's half inch, and this year I cannot say it enough. Reinforce your score. This is going to make the deal or break the deal. Put it that way, to lay flat and so on. Very important that you reinforce. The next one, it's at one and one quarter. Then it follow at two. And then at two and three quarter. So we got half inch, one and a quarter, two and two and three quarter. Now for the entire uh, project here, I'm going to use liquid glue. I um, find that liquid glue for 3Ds and when you have to move stuff, it's very friendly because if you're not right the first time, you get the chance to move around. Now I'm putting uh, glue on the first step, okay? I'm folding at the second score. So one score, second score. Now I'm going to bring the big piece down. And that you have to really press that so the glue gonna bond together. Now you're gonna need three pieces at um, this is five and three eight by two. Five and three eighths by two. Now we're just gonna crisscross that. So here we got a big one. So I like to just go around, just like a pinwheel. We're gonna take this one, put it flat there. I always go based on one that it's already there. So this one, it's the base. And you see how it stand up very square here. Now just lay it flat here. Put the glue on just in between the score here. Make sure you get enough glue that it bond good, but not too much that it ooze on the side. Now take your piece, push it against the edge there. Make sure it's equally there. Push this down and press. Now we're going to do the same thing. See, now we get this. Now this one here, sometimes it's easier to work at it at first when it's up. This one gonna get butt end to this one here. See? So just lay this flat. I like to lay it flat up because if you go down a lot, you can bend this here. So then you know here, right at the edge. So you're gonna put the glue always at the edge of your big piece, just in between your score here on this strip. Et voila. 
Now again, you're going to take your piece and put it right at the edge. And here we cannot flip, see, because we get the other piece. We're going to have to open, lift it up, and then come down. And now see, I moved it a bit. That's what it's nice when you get the liquid glue, you can move that around. Press that lovely so we get a good bond there. Open it up. Here I was a bit too much on the side. Can I? I think we can. Was a little bit too much on the edge there. Here we go. Let's see. Yeah, now it's moving good. Now we're going to put this one. So be careful the way you're going to open and close so you don't crush one sideways. Now we're going to take this like start at the top so then it's easier now we're going to close this make sure oh, this way now press it down if voila now this one see it was a bit too much on the side there i'm going to remove it because it's going to drive me insane okay it's going to be a little bit of fiasco but we're going to cover that you really want to make sure that it don't pass the edge there. So it's better start it up, then go right at the edge of your cardstock. Right at the edge. So then you know it's straight. Then you can close it and then press it. Here we go. Now the next measurement, you're going to need... In a different print, okay? So in one print, you're going to need two of one and a quarter by five and three eight and one of two by five and three eight. The next print, you're going to need two of one and a quarter by five and three eight and two of two by five and three eight. Now, I'm using one in white, so I get place to do a greeting or write something, and that it's two by five and three eighths. So really, it would be there. So you need two of each. If you want all designer series paper, you would do two, two, and two, and two. But I want one of the white one. Then I had two little pieces, it's about oh, three eighths, and by two, we're going to put that on the white just to keep the, the flow going. So the white, it's in the back. And the, uh, the I like to put the white in the back. So that's where, like, the inside of the cards. So now I'm going to put that little strip there and the little strip here. Now, I like to do the front of my card first. And before we're going to attach this one here, let me make sure I'm off a bit here. It's, it's going to be good. Um, I like to do my stamping first. So I get thinking of you. And the stamp set I was using, it's Beauty of Friendship to go with the threes with the other one. I just kept this one here. So I'm going to put thinking of you there. Boom. Okay. So I like to do the front of the card first. So for this one, the front, I'm going to do the pattern in the blue there. Now I'm going to do the leaves over here. And then here, it's a big one. So this is going to be there. So let's do this. Oops. That's need to be, sorry, need to be the leaves. So then it get a nice flow. Just like this one, the front, see, it get a nice flow. Both the strip each side, and when you open it up, boom. So we're going to glue this. So again, I like to use liquid glue just because I'm just using a tiny little border. If I was going at a quarter inch uh, border, it was uh, not enough place to write something or to decorate the card, really. I would be very um, 
careful on how much layers you're going to put because it have to all fold together, you know. Um, how much layers and if you want to pop up some element, let's say I would have want to pop the threes and that, be very careful with dimensional because then if you get too much layers, it will not fold nice together to put in an envelope or um, it's going to bow the whole card because it's going to be too much bulk. So now I got my front here. See? And in the front, I use the middle die, and I die cut one in uh, Merlot. And I'm just going to add a little bit of glue here and there. And then I get another one with white. And you're going to say, why Merlot while that it's not in the color? I just want to have a contrast. And Merlot, it's part of the other print. And I try um, Cajun Craze. But then I was like, the leaf are Cajun craze. I don't want the flower. And I find this was perfect. Now, I got the little hello here. I said stamp before, but we can stamp after. Because one of the layer, my front, I wanted the hello. And we're going to put that right here. Voila. And then, I am not using dimensional. Like I said, I want to keep it more flat. Maybe I would use a little piece of ribbon, though, to put uh, on this flower here. Right here, I could add a little piece of ribbon to decorate it more. Now, we're going to flip it and do the back. So, you're going to flip it. And the big one, it's the back. That's the one that we're going to use, the white one. And that I would use regular white, not the thick one. Again, keep I got a little bit here one sec I said it won't matter but it mattered to me now here we go um I would keep the basic white uh, the regular not the thick card stock okay the reason you want because it's so many layers when they all together so I wanted to um and do another layer in the back of this and it was getting way too thick you could do it don't get me wrong you could do it but it's just not mm -mm. okay now i like to see how i go i think this gonna go this way let's see this this and this gonna get there because i don't want none to touch yeah okay that's the way it goes okay so we're gonna glue the the designer silver paper the blue side i like this it just give a nice accent and plus this is kind of plain i mean it's not heavy pattern right so you can write two on that if you wish if this is not enough for me it's more than plenty so now you can see the way that i done it the front and the back they flow very well together and when we add the other accent on each side, the little panel, or some it's the big panel, whatever you call it, then I reverse that so I don't have two touching on one side. So now this one going to go on the leaves. And the blue and the leaves and this, I think it all flow. So you can add more accent. So I got another blue flower here I could add. I wanted to add that on another one though. And this one over here. So now we got our tower and the blue flower that I cut it out out of this and I sponged the edge with um, Night of Navy. So now, voila. So now we got, this is our back. This is our front. And I thought even to add one of the flower here. So you can add how much element you want. It's just that I would be very careful on the thickness that you're going to add. Designer Series Paper, it's very light. So we get more, that's why I went with the flower, this one, and I sponge it. Et voila. So you get your lovely tower. So it's a pinwheel tower. Voila. 
and then it lay perfectly flat see front back absolutely love this print so i will have all measurement all supplies list listed on my blog the color that i use and so on right below you get the direct link if you like what you see give me the thumbs up don't forget right below you get the subscribe button to my channel thank you so much and have a lovely day my friend bye bye for now